Hi, it's Alexandra here and I'm here at Sopot, Sopot Fashion Week, or actually should I say Sopot Fashion Days, where I'll have the pleasure to entertain all the guests and all the VIPs and all the designers tomorrow throughout the night. Exclusive VIP party at Dream Club. So I hope you stick around, we're going to show you exclusive backstage footage of all the designers and all the models walking down the catwalk while they're listening to music of Alexandre. Um, I'll be performing with a good friend of mine, DJ Jamie Russ, where I'll be getting some massive, massive tunage out on the stage and just getting everyone pumped, because at the end of the day, that's what I do best. Rock on! Get them, get them, get them, get them, get Okay, well seriously, what's not to love about Sopot's Fashion Week? I mean, look at the level of this hotness I'm going to enjoy tonight. I don't think I'll be able to concentrate at all and Jamie Ross is going to play the tunes and I'll probably stop singing because I am mesmerized, seriously. <sighs> Hi, it's Alexandra here. As you can see, I'm in Sopot, the Sopot Fashion Days. I mean, Look at this place, the atmosphere is absolutely electric and the weather is stunning. It was pissing down with rain before, but sunny at the moment, fingers crossed, it's going to happen. But anyway, um, I've got a great privilege to be here because I believe that music is not only about music itself, it's fashion as well and I'm absolutely into my fashion. Um, I see this as an opportunity to go on stage and become someone else and dress up and you know wear the clothes that I probably would not bear to wear on an everyday basis. I mean, look at those shoes. And my manager Sebastian from Reflect Media, he knows I'm a bit crazy about my shoes. What can I do? Girl can help it. But anyway, I probably should let you know about what's happening in my professional life, as in my music. Um, I've got two singles coming out on legendary Purple Music, that's Jamie Lewis record label, with Ray Paxson. I'm so excited. I mean, I'm a huge fan and I've got the pleasure to sing one of our singles today during the Support Fashions Days and the track is called Freedom. Um, so yes, with Ray we're releasing Freedom and as a follow-up we're releasing Praise You, which is a bit spiritual and a bit gospel. It's a bit different sound to what I normally do, but I absolutely love these two tracks and I'm hoping, I'm hoping people get down on it today. We haven't got really dance floor, but hey, lots of sand. Um, my next project is with Tune Brothers. I do happen to release quite a few tunes with them um, on German label House Session. Maybe a bit more progressive stuff and a bit harder, but still something I real, real, I mean, I feel really passionate about. I mean, tracks like Play a Little or Knock on Your Heart, 
which was released recently and was doing really well in Austrian and German char um, dance charts. So I'm really psyched about it. But most of all at the moment, I'm working with one half of Bimbo Jones, that's Mark JB, and we've got a track. I think it's going to be a disco revival hit. I mean, I absolutely love this tune. I felt so inspired. It's a story about two girls competing for the same guy. So I'm not going to tell you, or should I tell you? Yeah, I'll tell you. The name of the track is called He's Mine, Bitch. Okay. my gig it was absolutely amazing and the atmosphere was completely electrifying um, I understand it's a fashion show so it's probably not the best party you know people do not dance but I could see the connection with the crowd and they really appreciate what we were doing and really feeling the tracks especially freedom with Ray Paxton which makes me really really happy uh, I think it's really important to work with people you feel um, connected with and people you, you find common ground with and I can definitely say that, that I'm blessed that I found the perfect manager Sebastian and yes we're both very headstrong and we both have you know very concrete ideas where we would like my career to go um, his creative vision doesn't always um, you know doesn't always correspond to my creative vision but I feel that you know we even though we argue a lot because we're very very stubborn we still get to do what we really love and find the best common ground and come up with the best solution for Alexandra the, the artist um, I respect Sebastian's creative input and I completely trust him as a manager so I feel blessed you know we've worked together for two years now and it's been the best two years of my professional career and he's not just the manager, he's friend, and I think that's very, very important. without saying that I absolutely love what I do and I feel so passionate about music and blessed that I got this voice that I can use and utilize 
what I've been given, you know, this gift and share it with people and maybe touch, you know, touch them with my songs or with my music. And I know for me it's a very emotional thing. I don't just go on stage and and just, you know, sing songs. I live through those songs and I feel that the reason why I'm successful at what I do is because what I do is real and I'm real on stage and it doesn't matter, I'm a big woman and it may not always look pretty. I sweat a lot and I dance for two hours and I sing on top of my lungs and I jump around. It's not about posing, it's not about being phony. It's art, it's true, it's honest. And um, yeah, I feel blessed, you know, maybe that's why I've written a song called Praise Him because I really feel that I've been given this thing for a reason and I just wanted to say that I'm grateful that it was me who was chosen to have it. You know, I do not consider myself the best singer in the world, it's nothing like that, but I know I have something and I have this personal obligation to share it with people. Um, I think I've sacrificed a lot over the last 12 years. When I moved to London, I had to start from scratch and it wasn't always easy. And um, But I feel really proud because everything I've achieved, I achieved on my own without anybody's help. And I got to the stage now where I can actually enjoy the benefits of what I do. And I'm, and I'm happy that I can work with Sebastian and, and we can do it together. We can share it, you know, the experience and just look forward to even more fabulous projects that are ahead of us. Um, I've got six singles coming up this year and there's many more other projects that I'm working on. And I just, you know, I just sometimes pinch myself because I'm thinking, you know, surely this is not real, but it is. And I enjoy every single second of it.